scanning for audio. Hello. Welcome to another Tin Dog Podcast. Now, this time, I really should be talking... I should be doing two separate podcasts. Because this is when we talk about Tom Baker's Fourth Doctor Adventures. This is Series 12. Is there more Tom Baker on audio than there ever was on TV? I'm beginning to sp- suspect there might be. Because Tom's voice is Tom. Regardless of how old Tom is, Tom is 40. He is the seven- 70s Doctor and he's ours. 12.1 and 12.2 are available separately, and that was the point I was trying to make. I could produce two separate podcasts, but most people will be buying the box set that's got them both in. So forgive me if I review them both in one go. Ice Heist by Guy Adams and Attila the Lost. Attilia. Attilia the Lost. I read it as Attila because that's my dyslexia kicking in. It's Attilia the Lost by Phil Mulrine. Now, they're both four parts and they take place with Louise Jameson, but they're not just Louise Jameson, they're Louise Jameson and Neris Hughes. You might remember Neris was in a fourth Doctor story where she dealt with a witch. It was really well put together. She's playing the same character who's a sculptor. Margaret Hopwood. Let's do the synopsis for one at a time. Recently, the world changed for Margaret Hopwood. Everything she knew was turned upside down by the arrival of a strange man in a blue box with a lady called Leela and an invitation to an unusual art gallery. She's more than happy to join him for a ride. And what a ride it is, because it's an art gallery on a distant world where a deadly plan is about to commence, one involving creatures called Ice Warriors. It's Ice Warriors. It's a heist. It's got Neris Hughes in it. It's just a list of gorgeous, brilliant things. And I just loved it. I was in it for the ride and I just kept going. For me, arguably, this is the better of the two. Well, not more better. It's just slightly more fun. I'm not saying the other one's bad by any stretch of the imagination. They're both deeply absorbing stories. But this one just appeals to me slightly more. I like a heist. Who doesn't like a heist? In the League of Gentlemen movie, yes, I enjoyed it. I'm the one. They keep saying, hey, let's do a heist. Well, you know what? I like a heist movie. So sue me. And I really like the Ice Warriors. Now, the second film. Film? What am I talking about? The second of the two stories... It's a place of mystery. Manufactured space island lost to time, but now it's finally been found. The Doctor and his friends arrived on Antilia at the same time as an expeditionary party, delighted to solve one of the great mysteries of history, but they may have found more than they bargained for. Some things are better left lost. Cracking story. I mean, genuinely, it's absorbing. It's got a lot more characters, and they all are very, very well defined. Yes, you've got the standard corporate greed characters that you've always had, especially during Tom's time. But that's not a bad thing. It just makes it feel more real, more genuine of its time. Which, of course, it's not. Leela works brilliantly. I mean, let's face it, you've got Leela playing a 20-something, but you've got, you know... Louise Jameson, whose birthday it was today as I record this, talking as if she was 20. And her and Neris Hughes just seem to get on like a house on fire. All three of them just having fun. And let's face it, that's what Doctor Who's really about. I'm a very big fan of the arc with Neris Hughes' character and I really hope she stays for quite a few more stories. Here's the trailer, and decide for yourself as always. So until next time, be seeing you. Doctor. Hello, Margaret. Do you fancy popping into an art gallery? From Big Finish Productions, The Fourth Doctor Adventures, New Frontiers. Hello, I am Leela. Hello, Margaret. Terra Glacier. 
the most exclusive art gallery in... Well, in this little chunk of the universe anyway. We're on a different planet. I've never been on a different planet before. Ice warriors. No idea what they want, but... Some of the sea lot this entire section of the building. Humans located. Listen. The heating system stopped. Stop. I will kill you. Death. Antilia. The very name evokes the inexplicable. Everyone strap in, please. A subspace wave. It's swamping the TARDIS. Some say it was a place of wondrous scientific advancement. It doesn't make sense. What's certain is that over 50 years ago, it disappeared. It vanished like Atlantis. We are in the skies above Antilia. We must be. Oh, what's that? Them! They are coming! Big finish for the love of stories.